Hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome to uh, the Ford the... vs. Ferrari Championship. Well, I was going to say like the Chaplain Jack and King Solomon show, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. this is Chaplain Jack, this is... King, King Solomon, Solomon. King... how can you not... I was letting you say your own name, man. But anyway, uh, we'd like to welcome you guys to the, I don't know, first ever Ford versus Ferrari Forza Horizon 4 tournament. Not uh, the first. We have tried many times. This is the first official one. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, we're going to bring this tournament to you the way this is going to work. We're going to have, we got 10 cars, 10 classic racers in Forza Horizon 4. We're going to race 10 different races so each car is going to do its own race not like they're racing against each other because there's we're, we're not online and we're we're not doing it uh, competitively uh, across the board so each car is going to race for a time and whoever has the best time at the end of the race wins, wins and there's a point system uh, 10 points is going to be awarded to the first place nine, nine points to the second eight, eight all the way down to one point to the last finisher sadly uh, so we're going to take turns taking these races. They're all going to be custom-made races uh, on Forza, custom blueprints. So we're going to do this and kind of keep track of it over the next couple of weeks. But for right now, this is the introduction. We're going to introduce you guys to the, the cars. cars. The first car we have on our uh, stable here the is... The Ford GT40 Mark II. Right, the 1966 Ford GT40 Mark II. Uh, number two, Le Mans edition. Le Mans, Dad. Le Mans. Le Mans. This is the the car that the movie Ford versus Ferrari, kind of the hero car. Uh, this one right here, we got a pretty snazzy chrome. It's the bad boy. Uh, Ken Miles inspired paint job here. So looks pretty good. All right, so that car is pretty tight. My favorite car in all of Ford. Ford is a cost ten million credits to buy on the auto show i bought mine straight up yeah you know. like he tried a ton to get this car on the auction house but people were people were buying it all right let's go to the next car the next car is the ford gt40 mark one 1964 oh, sadly kidding <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah this is the exact same it's like almost the brother of the car we just showed Right, this is the car that started the whole Ford versus Ferrari this is uh, the race. Like this is the car Ford built first. It didn't win in 1964. It didn't win in 1965. You had some gearbox problems, some you know cars breaking down. Cars didn't finish the race. It was the worst. But this here, this is it. This is the 1964 Ford Mark. Oh, Ford GT40 so Mark One. Yeah. You know, with custom paint job. This is a barn find in Forza, so. Go One of the better barn find, finds, I find think. Your barn, if you have four the riding four, find your barn finds. You get this thing, and it's a, you don't have to pay for it. All right, so that's the number two car that we're going to have in the race. Not the strongest the car in the pack, car, but it's definitely not the weakest. The next car that we have is a 1961, I believe, Jaguar. The Jaguar is probably next on the list. Uh -huh. So let's go to the... So yeah, the next car is an E-Type S1 1961 Jag. Now this one, you might want to bet on this one. Yep, this is a very strong car in this competition. Always finishes at the top. Like we've already done three races with all of these cars. Preliminary races to determine the starting this order. Awesome. So this thing is really tight. It's really awesome. This car is uh, it's definitely a standout. If you're going to be root for a car this one is a good one Do it. so i definitely like this car i like driving it. it's a little rocket this is a barn find too so which is pretty cool we got, your bar. This yeah we got a couple of barn finds in this race so this is the texaco edition paint job uh, in other words, jaguar in other words find your barn finds they got some good cars you couldn't even get the world's smallest car all right barn let's go to the next one Barn finds are like some of the best cars, trust me. One of my best cars was a barn find. Okay. Our next car. Well, we kind of started. Let's go back to the Jag. Our next car is there the Miura. 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 
Wait, is it so Ma Italian? Mio, it's got the Italian pick up. I'm doing the Mario. Mio! P400 1967 Lambo. Yep, yeah, this is a very sharp looking car. Okay. Very nice looking, but it does not perform as well as some of these other cars. It's a Mario Bros. plumbing car. Yep, we got a custom so, Mario plumbing, Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers Plumbing we, Company uh, paint job on it. We made Mario Bros. a business now. You're welcome. But this is it, the Italian Miura Lamborghini 67. Miura! Like I said, very sharp looking car, but uh, it's kind of an underdog. This is the Rocky Balboa of the uh, of the race. Okay, so, which one's the Rocky Balboa? The Porsche or this thing? This thing, this is Italian. This is Italian Stallion. Wait, Rocky Balboa is Italian? It's the Italian Stallion, yeah. But this is, uh, this is the, this is the underdog, uh, one of the underdogs. So this is, this is Don't bet on this one. Do not. Unless you just, you know. Unless you want to take a long shot. Unless you want a long shot. Because it's not a good car at all. Alright, tell them about the equalizers that we built into the race to give this the little guy a fighting chance. This little guy will have a fighting chance by, we have like the rewind turned off, the damage simulation is simulation, so you break, you... Yeah. Whatever he said. Let's go with the next car. <laughs> Oh, this one's an 857. You said they're all 857. Well, I couldn't. I was as high as I could upgrade and tune that car to. Okay. And that's one thing, too. All of these cars were uh, S1. S1, uh, top of the S1 class. S1, uh, what is it, 900? Yeah. So. Uh, Next car, the number six, Penske Sunoco T70 Mark III B. 1969 Lola. All right, and this is that's hard to say. I know that's a ton of stuff, but this is the car that really inspired uh, Ford to build. Like when they built the Mark One, this is the car that they took inspiration from. This was their muse, so to speak. Uh, this car right here, very sharp looking car, very nice looking car, and uh, maybe not this one exactly because I think this is a '66, right? This is a '69. But anyway, the, the the Lola was the car that inspired uh, Ford, uh, the Ford engineers to build the race car. So this is a, a the Bridgestone edition custom paint job that I built here. Bridgestone. I have no clue what that is, but it sounds like a good place. That's a tire company, man. Tire place. Everything. All right, so this is the. Uh, this is going to be a pretty strong performer in the race for you sure. You might want to choose this one. This thing is a speedy little gun. Alright, so let's go on to the next one. I don't want to rewind it, but I guess I did. You pushed the wrong button. I did not. I'm talking to myself. That was me. Anyway. That's your twin brother, Dad. That person in the camera, that's your twin brother. Oh well. So let's go to the next car. And the next car is... We don't is... want to take too much of your precious time. And the next car is... The next car is... The next car is... And the next car is the fair lady. No, nope, that's uh, not it, remember? Uh, that, not, that car is not in the race. Three. That's next. another one of my favorite cars, but it's not. The that's next. the fair lady. That's the... Okay, this is the, the next, next one. The next car! Dad, you didn't let me... Okay, read the, the... The next car is the 718 RS 1964! That's right, this is another... This is the one I inspired it to do. Another yeah. another underdog in the race, never performs very well in the preliminary races. The but only other Porsche we had was a 1973, and I said, you can't have a 70s car in a 60s race. So I told Dad to make this. So this is it, the uh, Firestone Edition Porsche. It's an underdog, but this one's German. Definitely an underdog in the race. This is the German so underdog. So if you like putting your money on long shots, this is another one. Okay. So you either got the Mario Bros. Plumbing of Fiction. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what he said. The Mario Bros. Plumbing of Fiction. What does that mean, a fiction? Fiction. Uh, 
fiction, like a fiction story. Oh, well, I don't know. Anyway, this car, like I said, doesn't perform well. Like, uh, it looks kind of cool, but I mean, it's pretty zippy, but pretty I don't think it's going to win this it's, uh, tournament. It's like, yeah. All right, let's go to the next car. Next car is the next car is the next car. This is the is next another, Porsche. The, ne the next car is a ca car, yeah. Yeah. The next car is the 911 Carrera RS 1973 Porsche. Yep. So this is a NASCAR paint job inspired Jägermeister edition Porsche. Jägermeister. Very, very strong performer in the prelims. Uh, probably a top three finisher in the tournament with unlike this my, one. Unlike my, unlike So yeah, bet on this one. And I choose the Jaguar. So. Yeah, that's it, the Jägermeister Porsche, 73 Porsche. Yeah, he was thinking 73 was a little too late to get in the game, but I got this thing dirt cheap off the uh, auto auction. Figure as one will give a shot, put it in there. But love this car, love to drive it. It is going to perform well in the race. So there you go. Here's the Porsche. Let's go to the next car. Wasn't the Fair Lady a '60s car? It's a '69. Why couldn't get in? It's not one of these cars that's just in the race, you know. And right, the next car is the Cobra 427 S. For those of you that speak of the English, this is a 1965 Shelby Cobra 427 SC. That was English, Dad. And not like I speak Chinese. I don't know what that was. Frickin' to Deutsch, I think. Genetiva! Alright, but anyway, this is the Shelby. Uh, you can't have a Ford versus Ferrari racing tournament without, without a, a Shelby. Without a Shelby. So this is the one that we got right here, and this car is a very strong performer as well. I'm the one who got Dad to get a Shelby, right? Yeah, he said we have to have a Shelby in there. I was trying to get that Daytona, but it just wasn't happening. So this is going to be, like I said, very strong, very apt performer. Put your money on this guy. Can't go wrong. Alright, let's uh, go to the next car. And the next car is something that I'll tell you when I get to see the next car. So now we're circling back around oh, the other yeah. side. Oh yeah, I forgot this is the core guy. It's going to be the vet. The next car is the Corvette Stingray 427 1967 Chevrolet! Alright. Now this, English. This is not my favorite car in the race. That's the Mark II, the Ford GT40 Mark II. But this is my pick to win. This car right here will flat get it. And it's the fastest car probably in our stable. The fastest car in the race. Always a strong performer in the prelim, so I think this car probably has as good a shot as any, if not better. Than winning. Definitely a, an upstart, definitely a, one definitely to keep your not, eye on. Definitely not a car I'll work with. You might, but not me. We drive differently, right? We have different driving styles, that is for sure. So that car right there. Except now that Ray lines off, I'm gonna have to drive a little bit different. Cause I kinda drive like a maniac. So. All right, so there it is. The silver Chevy Corvette Stingray 42767 bit. Not my favorite. Not your favorite, but not my favorite car, but it's definitely my top pick. Top pick to win. So let's move it on over to the next one on the list. And the next car is the number 24 Ferrari Spa 330 P4 1967 Ferrari! Alright, so 
you can't have a Ford versus Ferrari racing tournament without an uh, authentic Ferrari. This is the rival of the Ford. This is like the Ford versus Ferrari. This is the Ferrari and the Ford versus Ferrari turn. Right, this is the Ivan Drago of the Rocky Mountain world. This is Except the it's not Russian. I mean, there are any Russian cars in this game, but this car is sharp Does looking. Russia even making cars? I don't know, they probably got the Yugo or something like that. I don't think it, this one killed the Mario Bros. plumbing. Alright, this plumbing. is a very good car. Um, it, it performs really on par with the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. And the Lola. This is the one that uh, the Ford beat in Ford vs. Ferrari. Alright, that Except was in 66, this is a 67, so this is the this, this is Ferrari's one, answer. This is the P4. Not the P4. It's different, but not different at the same time. I mean, you look in the movie and you think this car is the same. Alright, next car. Is there a next car? I think we might have finished. That might be it. Just in case, it is the no more cars. My top pick for the winning pick is the Jag. He's going to pick this Jaguar right here. I'm picking yeah. this uh, this vet. He's picking the Jag to win. Um, we have 10 cars in there. 10 cars have a chance. 10 cars are going to do that. We're going to start this soon. We're going to film our first race very, very soon. And then we'll get the, uh, when the you results. Say, when he says very, very soon, you never know when it's going to happen. Hey, it'll be in the next, you know, three or four years. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned for the first race in the and Ford versus Ferrari Forza Horizon 4 tournament, and go ahead and plug your uh, plug your. Check out my channel, Solo and Lando, for more content from me. And we'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. Leave a comment down below. Who do you? What car do you think will win? And please leave a like and subscribe. Yeah, definitely leave that comment and definitely like us, definitely subscribe to us so you can keep track of the tournament when we post new videos. Alright, I think that's it guys. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.